Today on The Donna Drake Show, I have my dear friend, Rich Salgado. And Rich, who did you bring with us today? I brought my dear friend and doctor, Dr. Chris Calipay. Hello, Dr. Chris. How are Hi, you? Donna, how are you? Thank Good. you. Good. Had such a fun phone conversation with you the other yes. day. We were talking about stem cell, stem sure. cell therapy. Let's go a little bit um, for our audience to understand what that is exactly. There's only one cell in your body that has the ability to differentiate into any other cell. Okay. So 150 years ago, researchers were looking at this cell and called it a stem cell. And worldwide, research subsequently shows that that cell can repair any area of degeneration in your body, organs, brain, eyes, heart, lung, pancreas, gut, joints. So there has been a great deal of research proving that your own cells from your body can create that repair. So we can either do joint injections intravenous, intravenous and nebulizer for the lungs, or intravenous and nasal for your brain. When did it become more like mainstream? It's still bordering on okay. mainstream because research centers, hospitals, so many places are doing it and doing clinical trials, but there's almost 100 years of therapy out there that have documented the eff efficacy and, and the results. So although it's not available on every corner, as yet it should be, it's something that is, has gained so much momentum that it's occurring more and more. And Rich, you know a lot of athletes, and athletes get injured quite frequently, you know, whether it's a head injury from not wearing the, the right helmets or things like that. Um, tell us a little bit from your perspective, because I know you have a lot of friends, and you personally have worked with Dr. Sure. Chris. What are your thoughts on it? Well, you know what? Every athlete has to uh, take into account that they need to have their body and mind as one. Okay. And also be at the best that it could be. So when some of my guys, you know, they ask questions and this and that, I said, you know what, you gotta go see my doctor because this is what he specializes in. He is, I always say, you're the Mercedes Benz and he keeps you <laughs> in top driving shape. Ah, sure. I like that. Um, and so for you, Chris, um, Dr. Chris, what made you decide to go into this? I mean, when somebody becomes a doctor, right, you can kind of go into any different practice. Sure, of course. Why this for you? Because when I first started out, the dean of my school, who back then seemed to be a scary guy because he was a very unapproachable, <laughs> rigid guy, asked me to work in his office doing physical exams. And I started seeing that within the different clinics that they put you to, it's just drug, 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 and prescription for everything. I said, but no one's teaching the patient anything about why they have the problem, what they can do on their own to help. So I wanted to make my approach a more comprehensive medical nutritional approach teach people, learn about everything, give them ideas as to what to do, give them recipes, and then people became much more healthy as a result of that. With the athletes, which are, you know, clearly thoroughbred athletes that are an unbelievable shape and drive and perseverance and capacity, they can get hurt easily, but we have to raise their nutritional levels because mm. they're working out so hard. And you wanna maintain the strength of their joints so they don't get injured and you're preventing or helping them recover from illness. So that's always been a lot of fun. And over the years that we've known each other, Rich, and uh, we've been friends, so Dr. Chris has kind of helped you a little bit with like nutrition or some therapies, and do you feel better? Do you, do you uh, feel more youthful? Yes, I do. Sometimes okay. I don't listen to Doc, and you know, okay. I go off the tan, you know, off the, uh, off the trail <laughs> and whatnot, but then uh, in his own little way, he'll give you a friendly reminder that, look, you're at this point in your life, You've been through this. This is where you really need to be. And if you want to live a longer and healthier life, listen to what I'm saying. You know what? And he, we went out to eat about a week ago, two weeks ago. Yeah, it's on Facebook. Next yeah, time, invite me too. Okay, yeah, guys? that was a great. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So we, uh, and he practiced what he preaches, you know? So it's, if you follow the game plan, like we always say to athletes, if you follow the game plan, you can win. One of the things too that touched my heart and same with Rich is that I love my veterans. I grew sure. up singing in a patriotic singing sure. group called the Futures of America, still near and dear to my heart. Of course. And uh, when you told me that sometimes you're using this to help them, it just was wonderful. So can so, you talk to me about your, that piece of your practice? Because we've seen literature and we've treated people with MS and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's brain related disorders and stem cells at the very basic understanding are putting new cells into your brain and intravenously and brain is through a nasal approach, just dripping the stem cells in so they go right into your brain. You're putting new cells where brain cells have been damaged, either by neurologic disorder or by trauma, 
we started looking at individuals that had traumatic brain injury. So every veteran who's been in combat has had the concussion effects of mm -hmm. shooting rifles and you know weapons and those that have been inside vehicles that have been blown up, it's an unbelievable concussive, sort of like a triple injury because of the blast and the reaction to the blast, starting to do stem cells on those patients, we saw pretty amazing results. One of them, we have a video on the website of a young Green Beret who was in a concussive episode in a blast where two of his you know, buddies were killed. He survived, but he had a horrible time trying to come back from it, he couldn't. So his memory focus, concentration was shot, he couldn't work out, didn't want to run, even issues where his temperament was not good. And of course, that was difficult when he came back home to his wife and kids. So he came in, we did the treatment. Within the same day, he said his headaches were going away. And over the course of about four months, he said his memory focus was great. He was able to start exercising at home. Now he's in law school. He's running again as he used to run marathons and he has his life back. He's 90 some odd percent better. So nothing was more thrilling than that to see how much improvement he had. So as a result of his response and everything else we've done, I've started a foundation to treat wounded veterans, wounded police and firemen. So we're just getting it off the ground and with Rich's help, because I know he knows more about that than I do, we'll try to get it up and running. Well, I thank you very, very much for visiting us. My pleasure, um, thank you. And I know you. you have a lot of patience and so I appreciate you coming thank to you. the set. Um, and we can always go to your website to learn more, correct? Yeah, absolutely, it's drcal.net, D-R-C-A-L.net. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely to see you again too, Richard. Thank you. Um, stay tuned for more. We've been living it up right here on the Donna Drake Show. Be well.